Hi guys, a uh, quick base lesson. This is on how to use your scales, all right? So uh, in previous videos, I have shown you how to play the major scale. All right, uh, so that's a G major scale, starting on the note G. Uh, on the third fret, so it's third, fifth. And yeah, second on the next string, third on the same string, fifth on the same string. Down to the D string, second, fourth, and then fifth, all right? Now, the important thing with this is that we know the pattern, okay? So that pattern can move anywhere. So I started on G there, so I could start on A here. Okay, so that's my major scale. Now, as I said, this is about how to use these scales. So you would play a major scale over a major chord. Quite self-explanatory, all right? So you don't have to play the whole scale. You can improvise, you can write your own bass lines using, okay, using the notes within that scale, all right? So uh, that's if you're playing over a major chord. So there is a minor scale for if you are playing over a minor chord. That's quite straightforward. Again, I'll start on G. So you've got G on the third, fifth, sixth, okay? Good thing about this one, easy to remember because the um, pattern is exactly the same on the next string. All right, so third, fifth, sixth, third, fifth, sixth on the A string. Then on the next string down, you've got your third, and you've got your fifth, and that's your full scale, okay? Okay, so at the moment we're using the sort of six string as our root, okay? So we're gonna stick with that for the moment. Um, how you would use these scales is if you have a chord chart, so your guitarist in your band has said he wants to do this song, his, his chords, Let's say it's something like um, Jason Mraz, I'm Yours, okay? So Jason Mraz, I'm Yours has a chord of C in it, so you would play, you could play anything involving C major over that chord. Now, if you don't know how to find notes, you should, all right, but if you don't, just remember, you know that that's E and it's the alphabet up to G and everything has a sharp apart from E and B. So the way you would find C is E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, because B doesn't have a sharp, all right? So then you would play that same shape that we learned down here. Okay. All right, so. The chords for Jason Mraz, I'm Yours are C major, G major, A minor, and F major. All right, so what you can do, you knowing that scale, make up your own bass lines and you can get away with any notes in that scale depending on whether your chord is minor or major. So just remember, remember the difference between the major and minor scale. So the first chord is C major, G major, A minor, F major. So bear in mind when you get to F major you've got to use open notes. All right, okay, so that's how you would do it using the six string as your root. Now, remember, we also have, we have, we're using three strings at the moment, we've got four strings on the base. So you could find your C major scale or, or your, uh, or any of them in a, in a different place. So remember that this note here is A, okay, the open string is A. If we want to find C, the first chord, A, A sharp, B, C, and then we'd have C major there. We could also have A minor here. So the seventh chord is G. So, sorry, you've got C, G just above it. Then you've got your A minor, so your A could be your open A string. and then to F as we did before. Or you 
could play F up here. So you could go A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, B sharp, E, F. Okay, or you could mix the two, so you could go. Oops, and then F. Major, sorry. So it's about knowing the pattern more than it. Didn't have to make a fancy bass line and such. Could be just simple. Okay, three notes played quite slow. All right, so yeah. So practice those. What you could do as an exercise is you can go on ultimateguitar.com, find a song you like, look at the chords, write your own bass line using the major and the minor scales. I hope that made sense. If it doesn't make sense, then give me a shout um, via the email uh, and we can arrange a Zoom lesson. All right. Um, and if I don't see you, have a good summer. See you later.